tonight, we are playing a little bit more modern. We are playing Jund. This is the old school uh, Thoughtseize, Inquisition, Dark Confidant, Tarmogoyf version. Not no Death Shadow to be found. Uh, as a result, we are running the full four uh, Black Cleave Cliffs, uh, Fetchland Mana Base, Raging Ravines, then we have Bolts, Fatal Pushes, Scavenging Uses, Terminates, Abrupt Decays, Pulse, Color Guns Command, Liliana, and then the one risky part from the deck is the three four drops, but I think they all serve a purpose. Cletus, Cletus and Vol Olivia are very good in the creature matchups. Uh, Kalidus gaining us some life, and then Chandra as another source of card advantage, in addition to the everything kill spell dot deck. Uh, sideboard, <clears throat> this is 73 out of 75 of a list that did well in the SCG event a couple weeks ago. Uh, the only difference was a couple not health spell bombs in place of surgical extractions. It's not because I don't like surgical extractions, because the card service we are doing, uh, Mana Traders, is currently in the process of changing their delivery system, so I went with Nihil Spell Bombs. So I could actually stream uh, Jun tonight. Uh, Nihil Spell Bombs on Ley Lines for Graveyard Decks, Death Shadow, Dredge, etc. Um, Ley Line of the Void can come in against the Mirror Match, against Abzan as well, especially if they're heavily on the uh, Grim Flayer Tarmogoy version. Collective Brutality for Burn and Control, Life Goes On. I'm guessing primarily for burn. Ancient Grudge against Affinity and Lantern Control and possibly against Eldrazi Tron. Stormbreath Dragon? This is one I'm not really sure of other than maybe Blue White X Control X because it kind of is a Nambo, a Dark Confidant, but it is protection from white, so maybe it's for the Blue White X matchups. Uh, Kitchen Finks in the Attrition -y and the Burn matchups and Fulminator Mage for decks like Valakut and Etron and Regular Tron. So, and I'm sure you might bring them in other matchups where you just need more threats. So, full four Fulminators. I guess this person was trying to actually beat Etron and Jund or Etron and Valakut. So, with that being said, we're going to jump into a league here. Not a practice league. We need eggs. There we go. <clears throat> so we'll see if Jund can do better than Abzan did. I think Abzan went three and two overall. So I think we played like Affinity twice. We played Blue White X Control. Uh forget exactly what we lost to. We lost to a storm. <sighs> might be one matchup where we regret not having the surgical extractions as opposed to the night hill spell bombs. So storm just feels like, I don't know, pretty close to the deck to beat at this point. Just the fact that it can kill through like two or three discard spells and graveyard disruption kind of feels a little scary. I'm sure opponent. Good luck. Quick graveyard. I guess look to it first. Alright, so I mean we've got Inquisition into Dark Confidant into Liliana if we draw a land, so probably about the best we could hope for, right? So I think uh it's actually a mess up on my part. I should have probably led with Black Cleave Cliffs or Blood Crypt and gotten a um all right, speaking of Storm, that is our first deck off the bat. So, which card do we take here? I guess we take Baral, force them to use Noxious Revival at some point. Our opponent going to Noxious Revival it back on top of their deck. They are not. Got their draw for the turn. Hmm. Yeah, that was actually their draw. Interesting. Uh, 
bottom, bottom. Yep, bottom, bottom. So we'll lead on Dark Confidant here. And next turn, if we don't draw a land, we can do, do, do Dark Confidant and pass. So we cast the Serum Visions. There's Opt, which was one of the cards that they've drawn over the last couple turns. It's the events. All right, sleight of hand. So. Let's see what Dark Confidant reveals. Revealed Thought Seize. So. Now we're in that awkward spot where I guess we lead on Inquisition. Noxious Revival, Electromancer, Desperate Ritual, Manamorphos. So I think we take Electromancer here, leave them with Ritual, one, two, three, four, five. Leave them with Ritual. We'll hold up Bolt for this turn on the off chance that they go for the combo. Alright, so. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we know, uh, well, let's see, take, ritual, ritual, all right, let's see what we reveal this time. Okay, terminate and dark confidant. So the problem we have is we're not drawing lands. So I think we have to cast Thought Seize here. Might have to Noxious Revival in response. Yep, we're Noxious Revival and Brawl back on top. Anamorphos, Gifts and Given, Past in Flames. So, I take Manamorphos and leave them with relative garbage. <clears throat> we finally hit a land. Oh, uh, well, let's go ahead and attack with Dark Confidant. Go 
gonna get the forest lay out termagoyf hold up bolt Your envisions. Okay, our opponent risks brawl. So if I bolt. To reveal here, Shandera. Attack for six. Hold up, terminate, and pass. <clears throat> See what our opponent has here. Okay. And our opponent scoops. All right. Storm is always a nerve wracking combo. So, we want these Leyline of the Voids. We want these Nihil Spell Bombs. And we probably want this Collective Brutality. Uh, Kalidus feels a little slow. Olivia is a little questionable. We gotta leave something in the deck to win the game with. So, like we can cut like cool guns, command or two. Eh. All right, so ones, twos. What else would I be cutting here? <laughs> Maybe like shave a terminate and one Liliana on the draw. Try it like that. Uh, this hand on the draw is garbage. This hand's much better. Uh, one, two, yeah, I think we'll keep a Liliana on top. Sleight of hand, sure. Actually, come to think of it, we should have left a... Hmm. Alright, get the swamp. Swamp, 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 swamp. Get a swamp. Inquisition them. Okay, remand, remand, barrel. Ah, they are stuck on lands. Interesting. So, do I take, uh, let's see. I think I take, Hmm. A chance I should just take Opt here, but I think Barol is the more problematic card. Alright, there's Opt. They're probably digging for lands. Oh, the card on bottom. Nope, oh, they're stuck on lands. Cool. 
Uh, so about this Nihil spell bomb. Pass. Okay. Black Cleave Cliffs. So either way, they're going to get to remain something here. Good thought sees. Metamorphos, Metamorphos, Hierotic Witchrule, Remand, Remand. So. These Remands are very annoying, but I think we take the Gifts Ungiven. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and pass. Collective brutality. Um, gonna start working our way through these remains somehow so yep here comes the remand no surprise there <clears throat> huh, it's still stuck on lands scavenging use All right, well, try this. Probably not gonna resolve. Unsurprisingly, there's the other remand. Yep. In pass. Excuse me. Serum visions. Means we'll finally get to resolve something. We went bottom, top. So they discard here. They discarded a Manamorphos. Interesting. Huh. So I guess I get Tarmogoyf down here. Pass. Okay. Empty the Warrens for four. It's pretty loose. Hmm. <laughs> Attack with Tarmogoyf. Are they going to start chump blocking or are they just going to try to race? Yep, looks like they're going to try to race. Alright, so. Do -do -do. I guess we were playing out this. <laughs> so. Two modes, that and that, that, and do this, discarding Miss Eliana at this point. Gifts I'm given. So 
actually take the other empty of the Warrens and pass. <clears throat> Hmm. Well, that was an annoying one. <clears throat> you can get as high a storm count as you want, but there's nothing you can do this turn. Surgical extraction, empty the warrens. So your hand is in amorphos and and pass. Dark confidant, huh? Block, sure. Play out, dark confidant. And pass. Okay. Grape shot, huh? So your opponent's hand is still... Okay, sure, whatever. Go ahead and spell bomb the graveyard. Yes, turn Olivia. Okay, Bloodstained Mire. Uh, go ahead and attack with Tarmogoyf. Not my Tarmogoyf. Jump, sure. Play out this year scavenging news and pass. No one of the components cards in hand is empty the warrens. Okay, Electromancer. 
Sure. All right. Go ahead with that. Black Cleave Cliffs. Grab a swamp. Pulse. Okay, and a prone scoops it up. Woo! Storm, always a scary matchup. Always a scary matchup. All right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in this evening so far. My name is Dusk, here for MTGO Tavern on Twitch and Dusk Till Dawn Gaming on YouTube. Have quite a bit of content on our YouTube channel. If you want to check something out, we've got a bunch of standard and modern stuff. Not really afraid to play too many different decks. So, lots of fun stuff. One, I've always wanted to play Jun. Played Abzan last week, I think, sometime for the first time. It was pretty fun. Uh, we did end up folding the storm. Um, we had a little bit of awkward draws and. I think they won through a couple different uh, discard spells and a Liliana, so. Storm's always a scary deck to play against, no matter how much hate you got. A lot of the, a lot of the old Jun and Junk players, Abzan players, have gone to Death Shadow. That's more fun to break out old school once in a while. Uh, this particular list did well at one of the SEG Classics, I think, two weekends ago. So, I wanted to try it out. There's a couple cards I sit there and scratch my head on, like Storm Breath Dragon is kind of a weird one for John even. Alright, so... Excuse me. So, I mean, it's hard to pass up this hand. I've got... Either Disruption Spell or Fatal Push into Dark Confidant, so pretty sure this is a keep. Uh, Flooded Strand. We're up against Death Shadow of some type? Huh. Hard to say. Flooded Strand into that could be. So I think I want to fetch Swamp here, just in case. Go ahead and see what they've got going on over there. Death Shadow, Death Shadow. I think we take Gurmag out of this hand. Because the rest of the stuff I don't particularly care about. Uh, could they just be playing a weird fetch land for, um, <laughs> looks like they're going to play a couple of quick death shadows here. Going to a 12, death shadow, death shadow. So I think for efficiency's sake, I want to play Terminate here. Ah, uh, which land do I get? Hmm. Obviously I want the red source. Go ahead and Terminate one of these Death Shadows. <clears throat> Another hand is Thought Scour, Thought Scour, Stubborn Denial, and then one unknown. Sure. Uh, 
sure. Mill two lands. Or they mill us. Oh, turn themselves. Right, there's a death shadow and for one. And please play like another. Don't be a Dell fatty. Okay, there's a Tassiger. Uh, hmm. So, weird situation here. Obviously, they didn't find another fetch land. So, I play Fatal Push, and then play out Dark Confidant. <laughs> See, that would have been, now they have Stubborn Denial up, which is annoying. Now well, let's thought seize them. Let's get the stubborn denial out. It does. Go get a swamp. Hopefully you don't play have multiple stubborn denials. But of course you do. All right. Well, Grixis Shadow doing Grixis Shadow things. Obviously, we have to block here. Teamer Battle Rage in the main deck, huh? And we're dead. All right, so Grixis Shadow. All right, so Ley Lines come in. My Hell Spell Bombs come in. Uh, what cards go out? Bolts aren't particularly relevant in the matchup. Uh... Kalidus kind of brawls, kind of meh. Do, do, do. Need to make one more cut. Is it just abrupt decay? Hmm. Maybe the cut is an abrupt decay. I'm trying to think if there's some way we could have navigated that differently. Uh, so what does this hand even do? Got a one drop, a two drop. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll keep it, but it's not great. Get on that and pass. <laughs> Flooded stream can definitely be misleading. But 
what's these? Yep, serum versions. Okie dokie. So, what do we want to go get here? Top, 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 bottom. Okay. Go and get. Uh, do, 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 do. So, we can get a basic swamp with that. I think we've got to get black sources. Well, spell bomb's a thing. But I think right now we'll lead on getting Tarmogoyf into play. Tarmogoyf. It's a baby Tarmogoyf right now, but it'll grow. does our opponent do here? Blood Strand just seems like a bad card to have in the deck. Maybe that's supposed to be for Scalding Tarns? Is that the card they're compensating for? Dot Seas. Not sure what to take here. Maybe Liliana? I think it's either Liliana or Nihil Spellbomb. Because otherwise, so many of the cards in our hand are a problem. Don't think it's K-Command. Okay, so I guess they took the Spellbomb. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of foolish. We probably should have actually played uh, Liliana and upticked first. The off chance that our opponent decided to... So what am I discarding here? Is it the... Is it the Olivia or is it the K command? I think it's just the... Uh... I think it's the Olivia for now. See what interesting stuff our opponent discards. Yeah, we definitely missed out on some points of damage here. Yuck and foo. All right, opponent discards a Thought Scour. Yeah, we missed out on two points of damage. Opponent's plan looks like it's to play nothing, question mark. So right now, opponent's on a two-turn clock. Okay, so they play on the Death Shadow. And... Terminate. Start by casting that. Alright. opponent do here. <laughs> I 
Is this a Snapcast or a Terminate incoming? Feels like a Terminate. Sure. So, I think we get rid of the Terminate here. The Terminate or the Colgon's command? I think the Terminate. Opponent will be down to two cards. I get rid of a Snapcaster Mage. One of their far other cards is probably a Snapcaster Mage. <clears throat> okay, there's a Tassiger. Another K command. Force you to sacrifice a creature. A flash and a snapcaster mage. Nope, thought scour. Sure. Not sure what the point of thought scouring in advance was. Just hold on to K command, cast at the end of their turn. Actually, probably should have done during a draw step. Okay. This is a very interesting line. Snapcaster or something or other. What you got, opponent? Still think one of their cards is Snapcaster Mage. Okay, K command, get back Death Shadow. Okay. Death Blader. What modes? Deals two damage, target creature or player. Okie dokie. Turn target creature card from the graveyard to your hand. You get back a Tarmogoyf and you discard a card. <clears throat> Black. See what you've got. Serum Moon was your last card. All right, so. They get to cast the Death Shadow. We draw a Ley Line of the Void. Well, that's not a lot of good. Discard Ley Line of the Void. All right. Play out. Turn my In pass. So now we're in the awkward position where our opponent can't really attack us. Or they did. Never mind. I lied. Just had to draw the right removal spell. To kill Liliana? Sure. Good draw step. Scavengers. Huh. Draw step. Turn target creature. Tarmogoyf. You discard a card. <clears throat> so they lost another Death Shadow. That would have been hecka awkward to deal with. All right. We draw a Raging Ravine. Um, 
So we play on scavengers and pass. So it obviously wasn't a removal spell or we'd just be dead. What was it? Be a stubborn to know? Oh, another Death Shadow. Well, that's annoying. Maelstrom Pulse. And we can basically play two chump blockers. Huh. <laughs> it is very annoying. Play on scavenging use. Play out Tarmogoyf. And I guess double chump block and pray. And if they draw any kind of removal spell, we're just dead here. So our only literal out is Maelstrom Pulse. Terminate doesn't do it. All right, well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is why it's a little rough to be the gen player in a Death Shadow kind of world. <sighs> Death Shadow World, we're just all living in it. How's everyone doing this evening? Do, do, do. So what could we have done differently in that matchup? Sure, there's a lot of different uh, play lines we could have taken. Opponent just we just had to fade our opponent drawing a removal spell on that one turn on Tarmogoyf. And Liliana could have taken care of Death Shadow, and that would have been game, but. Hmm. It does feel like this deck needs like a damnation or two in the sideboard as another kind of catch all. But. You know, we went with whoever this deck pilot was, and that's what they wanted in their sideboard. Surgical Extraction. Hmm. Removing our threats would have been nice, I guess, but what can you do? All right. So this hand is, what, Thought Season Tarmogoyf? We fetch up, you know, keeping it. Let's see what our opponent leads on. Third Mesa. Burn, maybe? All right, well, this will give us some idea of what's going on over there. Oop, some type of blue deck. It's always got to be a blue deck, huh? Logic not, logic not. <laughs> yeah, I played some Shadow. I don't mind it, but it does suck to play against. I think I'd rather play against that than this kind of a hand though you know logic not logic not mana leak uh spell snare i guess i'm supposed to take i have no idea serum visions maybe
because the rest of the hand is just a bunch of flipping counter spells. Okay. They're just guy. Uh, you can just pass. Go get a Blood Crypt here. Play out Raging Ravine. This is going to be a nightmare of a game. <clears throat> Just got Geist or Flash. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell from that mess. So, I mean, their hand is just like 100% counter spells. So, I guess I run out Kalidus here, hoping to draw their mana leak. And then next turn, I can run... Uh, yeah. No. Next time, I can run out Liliana. They don't draw a blue source. <sighs> okay, well. I mean, now I may just be able to resolve, like, I mean, these Terminates are kind of garbage, obviously. And what do you do with your Scries? Flash, top, bottom. You missed a land drop. Oh, so you have... Hmm. So I can go Inquisition, give me a better idea of what the heck you have in hand. Doop a doo. You're going to Lightning Helix me in response? Okay. Which means you have 10,000 counter spells. Snapcaster Mage, Logic Knot, Logic Knot. I think we take the Snappy. And then. We play this card called Liliana of the Veil. Tick it up and get rid of one of our tri trillion copies of Terminate. And I'm presuming you're getting rid of Cryptic. Nope, one of your logic knots. So your hand is currently Cryptic Logic Knot Spell Snare. So I'm presuming you left a blue. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm presuming you left a blue source on top. So the fun part is, I just get to go this, get rid of a terminate, and then. You get rid of the spell snare. That, that, that. Start firing this up. And now we go on the Raging Ravine beatdown plan. See, putting stars, we still don't. I mean, we can presume they're on Just Guy Geist, but kind of hard to say still from the cards that they've shown us. 
All right. Serum Visions was the draw. And what do you go? An ad randomly? Huh. That's kind of dumb. All right. So, hmm. what am I supposed to do here? I think I'm supposed to plus on this. See what you get rid of. I'll get rid of. Overgrown tomb. I was just saying we don't we're not quite sure what they're on yet. Too many counters, it seems to me. Yeah, I'm guessing it's just uh I think I'm supposed to try to resolve Tarmoglyph here. I think the worst case scenario would be Snapcaster Mage. Or nothing. Tech Edge. Sure. So our opponent's going to Tech Edge us off of traditional Blue Light Rule. Yeah, it seems that way. No. Yeah. All right, what did Foothills discard one more card here before I ultimate Lily? Oh, come on, why won't... Thank you for the follow. Whatever it was, it will not tell me at the moment. Okay, put in stars, thanks. So I figured it was, but... All right, so they got rid of Logic Knot. Then what the heck did they hold on to? Hmm. Maybe a Snapper Caster? They still play nothing. It's got to be another... Was either the Serum Visions or was another Fleep Encounter spell? Salt Goyf through Snare? No, 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 no. They discarded the Snare to one of our first Liliana activations. Guess they figured we would have uh, gotten rid of... So they went top and bottom. I think they're going to bolt us, redirect to Liliana to keep it from ultimating. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Bud Light ad, really? Wow. All right, let's see if our opponent reacts. Uh, I guess we hold the Abrupt Decay here. Okay, their last card was another Cryptic, which I suppose that makes sense. Can't believe it's running so many ads. That's, that's really weird. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get to the ultimate, though. They seem pretty determined to uh, keep us off of the ultimate.
We have drawn a lot of cryptics. All right, if you're going to use your card, use your card. All right, so play that out. Plus Liliana. What you got, opponent? Path to Exile. Well, that's mildly annoying. We have no more basics to get. And... All right, well, now it's... Raging Ravine versus Stuff. Fatal Push. Don't think we care much about Fatal Push. Yeah. This is a Helix in response. Sure. Unfortunately, we'll buy them some more time. This is a very weird... <laughs> yeah, this is like circa... Uh, like right after Bloodbraid Elf and uh, Deathrite Shaman Ban Modern. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. All right, so Fatal Push. I think we just keep Fatal Push. I'm not really worried about ultimating at the moment. Circa 23. Yeah, I'm not sure when when the Death Rite ban went into effect. Now the question is, do I keep this last card or do I just plus Liliana? I think I just keep this fatal push in my hand. Okay. And punt scoops. All right, well, I mean, staring at that wall of counter spells, I didn't think we were winning that game. Thank you, wizard, please unbant win. Okay, very interesting screen name. So, what am I supposed to bring in against blue-white X? I don't think we want Olivia. I think Kalidus feels a little clunky. Uh, they're probably going to be bringing in their graveyard hate against us. So maybe I shouldn't be boarding that out? I don't know. This feels like the matchup we want Storm Breath? Eh, maybe? I don't know what other matchup you would even bring in Storm Breath against. Um, so we still don't know if they're Flash or Geist. So I think I'm going to trim a couple of pushes. Maybe like one Terminate. What else am I wanting to bring in? Am I trying to Fulminate them? Because they were having an awful lot of problems with mana that game. I don't know if I'm supposed to try to go on the fulminate you out of the game plan. Finks doesn't seem great against Path to Exile. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to go down like... Hmm. No, Pulse is a little... Do that... I don't know. Bring in some Fulminators. Maybe on the draw, I want to go the fourth Fulminator rather than Storm Breath. <sighs> yeah. I'll have Storm Breath in on the play. I just think on the draw, it's a little too unrealistic.
Yeah, I knew Death Rate was the last of the two to get banned. Honestly, it should have been the first of the two. Because I don't think... Yeah. My only thought process is that... Um, five mans a lot on the draw. Get past all their counter spells. So... Like to see okay, Black Leaf Cliffs is a good draw. Um we'll lead off on that. Okay, so they've got Path, Helix, Cryptic. Feels like they boarded out quite a few of their counter spells. Either that or they just they do with that. They went bottom top. So Goyf will be a 3 4, so it's out of helix range. So they have to have a counter spell to deal with Goyf. Yeah, Dawn Breath Dragon is the most odd of all the decks in this card's um, sideboard. So I guess I'm running Goyf out here. does feel like it's just going to eat a counter spell, but what else can I do, right? Nope. All right. So what would they have left on top? They kept mono removals instead of mono counters. Yeah, I suppose that might have been the route they went, but it's like... If they don't have path, the removal lines up so horribly. Yeah, I suspect it was a snap that they left on top. So I think we lead on Goyf attack. Hope to bait out. No? Alright, well, I think we go ahead and scooze here. Hope to draw out their helix. That way. Alright. Um, is the logic not now? Why would you need three mana here? Spell Queller. Huh. And I played, let's see, yeah, I played Black Leaf Cliff, so I can't even Fatal Push it this turn. At least we have their answer of what particular style of a deck they on. Yeah, we've got push. We just got to find a way to resolve it. Because they do have a cryptic command right now. So. Ah, terminate. So. I'll lead on Goyf swinging. You seriously considering tapping my team? No, Path Exile. Sure. Fatal push. Push it real good. Dun 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 dun. We are going and getting a green source. That way our opponent... Yeah, they, they, they kindly fed us revolt this game. And their white mana is not currently up. So... Hmm. 
Unfortunately, uh, I think I'm just supposed to pass here. Lightning Helix. Geist of St. Truff. Trufferito. Well, they're definitely Geist. <laughs> well, the problem with that line is, is if I played... Um... If I'd played Confidant out, I'm fully aware that they have a Helix in hand. So, wouldn't get us anywhere. Geist Saint Ass, yep. Let's see what their cards in hand are. Helix, Cryptic, Cryptic. Well, that Cryptic command is going to be a problem. Because then they can... Huh. So I think we're supposed to take one of their cryptics. And then... Play out. I think I'm supposed to swing with who's here. Play out. Confidant. Now if they... Now they're faced with a choice. Either let us have a card and Cryptic tap. I guess they could Cryptic bounce our Confidant? I don't know. I still have seen ass. <laughs> oh. So now our opponent has to decide if they want to. Depends on what their draw step, obviously, but presuming their draw step was a blank. Now they have to decide if they want to. Okay, you're going to attack with the Geist. All right. You're Helixing Confidant now. It's gotta be Confidant. Uh, sure. I think I'm supposed to terminate the angel just to buy us for life. Liliana would be a great draw. Okay, Tarmogoyf is a draw. Uh, hmm. Attack with scavenging news. So, how afraid am I of oh, Snapcaster Mage? You're just supposed to eat Confidant here. Go drop them to six. Play out Goyf. Hopefully you don't have like a freaking small snare here. And pass. So now you can cryptic. Alright, so one of your cards is still cryptic command. If 
If your other card is Snapcaster Mage or Path to Exile, that's going to be punishing us the most for this particular round. All right, no attacks, which means you're playing on probably tapping it down during my turn. Oh, Kuligon's Command, eh? Here comes Cryptic Command. Anybody else see this coming? Tap the team and draw a card. Surprise, surprise. Hmm. Pass. Now are they going to attack with Geist here? So one of your cards is still a land. All right, so did you draw another cryptic command here? Um, hmm. so I guess I eat cryptic. And then, what the heck? Apparently I passed priority. Let's see if you cryptic us again. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Snapcaster. Okay. Targeting, cryptic command. So, target player, target creature. Now, if you have a counter spell, you have to use it. Is your last card? Seriously? You targeting now? Path to exile. Go ahead and eat said path to exile. All right, hold your breath, everybody. Serum Visions. Bottom. And... Uh, bottom. Was it a good one? Was it a good one, opponent? Are you attacking? Oh, 
Okay. I'm guessing it's a lightning bolt, maybe? Was it a bolt? Are we dead? I mean, don't slow roll us here. We're all friends. Lightning helix. See, why didn't you do that bef before combat, you know? Like, save us all the suspense. All right. Storm Breath Dragon definitely coming in on the play. So there are Geist, Geist of St. Traft. So... Hmm. Probably want the Collective Brutality. Get rid of Fatal Push, because it's kind of garbage. You can be cut like one Fulminator on the draw. That game was entirely too close. Yes, I'd like to play first. Nihil Spellbomb, but one land. Fortunately, that's a mulligan. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. yuck. So we've got to keep the scry to the hopefully scry land at the top. Keep. Does that qualify? Sure. It's a land. Inquisition. What kind of hand did you keep, opponent? <laughs> All right, Spell Queller. Lightning Helix, Serum Visions. That's a nasty, nasty hand. So I think this hand is predicated on Confidant Living. So one, two, two lands for opponent. All right, there's the Steam Vents, Serum Visions. So many cards they could draw that could answer Dark Confidant here. All right, bottom, top. All right, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Pass to our opponent. Come on, Bobby. Live, Bobby. No. Why did it have to be lightning bolt? <laughs> okay. Well, thought sees. Queller. Queller. Tech Edge. Well, this is turning into a fun game. Ah. Uh... I guess we take one of the quellers. This is just feeling awful. Hope we hit land, land, land. Hmm. Tech edge, hold up spell queller. Unsurprising. All right. Well, I mean, it's basically about as good a bait spell as we're going to get for Spell Queller here.
Please miss on a land drop. Damn it. <clears throat> okay. This is going to be rough. All right, here comes Queller. Please miss on a land drop. Cool. So, target player discards a car, turn target creature. Dark Confidant back, do that. Hopefully you don't have another freaking spell queller. Come on, opponent. You know you want to counter this. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, please counter it. You know you want to counter it. All right, now we have a chance. Not much of one, but we have a chance. Cast, Tarmogoyf, pass. All right, opponent's going to get Karanos down here. So what would even be our best draw? Okay, scavenge news is not a horrible one. See what you have before we commit that to the board. Path to exile, negate, and ghost quarter. All right, get rid of path. So you have negate and ghost quarter. Play out, scavenge and use. Do I even tick up Liliana? Yeah, I think I do. We'll get rid of their GQ. The opponent's hand is negate. Okay, it deals three damage, target creature or player. Relic is like particularly brutal here. Because that like negates everything pretty much. We just blow it now. Yep. All right. Play out another Tarmogoyf. Take up on Liliana. Probably get rid of the negate now. Seriously? Okay. And it loses their negate.
Please hit a land. Oh, cryptic command. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's take up on Liliana. They eagerly get rid of their cryptic command. This doesn't feel like a game we're winning, though. Just doesn't. So we can't, don't really have an answer to that Karanos. I guess Serum Visions to boot? Sure. Yeah. Nothing we can do over here. Okay, redirect it to Lily. Top, top. That's wonderful. Raging Ravine would be great if they didn't already have Tech Edge. Always amazed that a three color deck can somehow. Oh dear lord. Yeah. I'm just going to purge Liliana. Here comes the purge. May as well fire up this since it's just going to get tech edge anyway. Yep, there it goes. So sad, so sad. <laughs> Just counter draw. Even with this resolve, the chances are it just dies to Karanos, so it's like... Okay, so they drew an extra card. That's always wonderful. Okay, sure. We've got ourselves a bolt! Okay. Seriously? Yeah, that's the game. All right. It's possible we should have taken that Karanos at some point with one of the discard spells. But I don't think we were winning a longer game anyway, so it was kind of a uh, no-win situation in that spot. And that's the thing with these... Some of these decision points, it's like, you could take something, hope to win the longer game, but in reality, you're not winning the longer game against the Just Guy deck. So, once again, these are the de games that, like, Death Shadow can get pressure a little bit faster than Jund. So, and their threats don't care about most of Just Guy's removal, whereas Jund does. So I can begin to see why, as annoying as the deck is, that Death Shadow sees more play than Abzan or Jund. Just a lot of the same matchups that Abzan and Jund have less of a chance in. Death Shadow has better game, like Eldrazi Tron and uh, Blue White X Control. 
Very disappointing, but hopefully we can clear out for the 3-2. Uh, I, mean, I think we keep this hand. We have Fatal Push into one of our idiots. Don't tell me of Alicate. I must have done something in another life. Sure. This matchup is likely miserable game. So, especially if they have like some type of accelerator here. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Play out that. Go get a forest. So do I respect Bolt or not? I don't think it's going to pay to respect Bolt, so. If they have it, they have it. Here comes land number one. So what is our best, like, Tarmogoyf into disruption spells. Oh, mismatching mountains. Come on, man. Playing Valakit. Gotta have good mountains. What's up, four? How was your Innistrad draft? Sure. We've been having a fun old time playing old school Jund and getting smoked. Well, not really smoked. It's been more slow, painful deaths, which I think are more annoying. Sweet. Seems like you do better at Instarod drafts than you do, uh... Um... The newer drafts, Ixalan. <laughs> Did you get anything good? Yeah. I'm honestly beginning to see why the deck doesn't, like... Like, we played against Jeskai, Grixis Shadow. Seriously? All right. Well, I mean, got a Geist. Oh, well, that's not bad. But I, I am, I'm beginning to see why uh, another opponent's going to go get a land and then cast a Primeval Titan. Right, right. Like ten ticks. This is a prime time. I'm just a oh, son of a son of a hut. <laughs> oh, Jun, 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 Jun. <laughs> oh my. Well, all right. It's not even a they always have it. It's just, like, against our Death Shadow opponent, we needed them to not draw a creature for one, like a, a kill spell for one turn. Then we could have chump blocked. They either had, they couldn't attack our Liliana because they were at, like, five. We had a 7-8 Tarmogoyf in play. They had an 8-8 Death Shadow. It's like, they don't draw a removal spell for one turn. We pretty much win the game. They draw a removal spell. And then we had um, Jeskai Geist down to two or four. 
And we're sitting at two after a Geist attack. They drew a card. It was Serum Visions. They cast Serum Visions and drew Lightning Helix to kill us in game two. So it was like, there's been so many close calls. I mean, I know there are different lines I could have taken. It's not like it's my opponent lucking out. But it's like, there are so many lines I could have taken and just, like, missed. Uh, need Finks for life gain. Uh, to be brutally honest, Finks is not where you want to be. Life gain doesn't matter against this version of... Uh, Uh, I mean, I, I could see a world where you want to bring them in, but I don't think three drop, three drop, like three twos that aren't impacting their lands or where you want to be. Maybe we have enough spells to board out. Uh, Rope Decay, and then Terminates. Um, bring in a Brutality. I'll bring in a couple Finxes. I mean, I know it can matter, but if we're if we're executing the game plan we want to play, like it can. I, I agree there, but if we're our best game plan is uh yuck 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 yuck. Push doesn't push was already boarded out. Yeah, all the fatal pushes and the abrupt Ks were boarded out. K command maybe could have gone. Um, so this hand can't even cast. Yeah, I left in two terminates for Titans. But the chances are if they cast a Titan, you're losing anyway. Um, this hand has two Goyfs, but it doesn't have... You can't cast Liliana. We have no disruption. I think it's a mall. It's close, but I think it's a mall. Oh dear, seriously? Uh, uh yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. I think we keep it. Hope to scry land to the top. Yep, we'll be on to the bottom. So I think I lead on, I don't care about Bolt, so I think I'm going to lead on Overgrown Tomb. Hope to hit. Oh, they're Breach Titan on top of everything else? Oh, freak. So I guess I take Search and Farseek and hope to strand them for right now. I don't think we're winning on a mall to five on the play regardless of uh, how good that five is. Land? Nope, Fulminator. Okay. Uh, so, Hour of Promise, Prismatic Omen. Uh, we're pretty, pretty, very, pretty, pretty, pretty bone. Unless we hit like uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what they have right now. We're pretty bone unless we hit lands. We hit running untap. Well, if we hit an untap land on four, then we have a chance. Because then we can go fulminator into fulminator. Yeah, prismatic omens, whatever. They hit six. We're pretty dead anyway. Land. Okay, there's a land. Play that out. Pass. Alright. 
See, this is what I mean about um, thinks life gain helps, but we're doing a lot of damage to ourselves to be able to cast our spells. Seriously, deck. That's why I specifically said untap land on four. Okay. So our opponent's land is mostly mana. We can't hope they'll miss forever. Summoner's packed, really? That's oh. Oh, 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 If they don't have a land, they're dead. Please don't have a land or up. Please don't have a land or up. Oh, 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 yes, yes. This is going to be great. Unless they would have to have Simeon Spirit God. Please don't have a land or up. Alright, let's get uh, Blood Crypt untapped. Go ahead and bolt this Sakura Tribe Builder. Should have waited till on step. Should have waited till on step. And now, even if they have Simeon Spear Guide, they are dead. Game, set, match. Blow up that. <laughs> Good luck, opponent. Good luck. You die. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna pay that? You gonna pay that mana opponent? Oh, oh. I'm not normally a cynic, but that was beautiful. My, I'm crying a tear here. I'm crying a tear. <sighs> All right. So, get the third things in here. I think Pulse can go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Life Goes On may, might make some sense. Eh? Terminate, maybe. Maybe Storm Breath. These scavenging uses are a little eh. Try it like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh, one lander. Why does it have to be a one lander? Why does this have to be a one lander? Okay, so let's be honest. Do we keep this and hope to hit a land in our first two draw steps? Because if we hit land, Inquisition in the Confidant is a pretty good start. Do we risk it? give everyone about 30 seconds on this one, because this is... This one's close. So close. So close. I'm inclined, personally, to keep it, because... I don't think we're favored in the matchup. We hit a second land. Okay. It just feels, this feels like a keep.
But yeah, we can do better. Well, this hand's definitely worse. So, I think we can't afford to go to five, so we'll see people land on top. Hmm. They always have search for tomorrow, don't they? They only run four in their deck, and they had one in each of their opening hands. So annoying. All right. Play out stomping ground, tapped, and pass. This feels like... Yeah. Hmm. All right. Better fulminator than later. So here we're getting a forest. No. Should have gotten swamp. Should have gotten swamp. Route goif. Hope they don't have a bolt. So are we fulminating or are we... Liliana Aang next turn. Uh, hmm. So this is where if we had the surgical extractions, we'd be in much better shape. What does our opponent do? What are they casting? Sure. Decisions, decisions. That'd be five lands. So they could hit Hour of Promise next turn. I think we have to fulminate them. <sighs> Block. They gotta go here. So black black from the green. Do a fulminator mage. I think we go ahead and take them off of a, one of their green sources. Ah, uh, do do do. What is thinking? I mean, if we had surgical, we could take them off of. Hmm. <laughs> 
decisions, decisions. Oh, I hope we're not getting through the breached here. Through the breach would be really rough. That, in fact, looks like what's happening. Yep. I believe we are dead. Approximately one billion triggers incoming. Yeah, we're dead. Do do eighteen from there, and then primeval titan itself kills us. All right, that matchup obviously is horrible for Jund. So it feels like I'm saying that a lot tonight, doesn't it? That matchup is horrible. That matchup is horrible. That matchup is horrible. That being said, there are some some plays I can make differently. So I can't sit here and completely blame the deck. I've made some lines that I could have taken differently to potentially have won games. So with a name like the Robot. Boat. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Guess we'll keep it. No play on one is a little. Ah, oh, seriously. We're having all kinds of fun against Death Shadow today, aren't we? Hmm. Thought series. Nope. Alright. Yep, there's the Thought series. So, guessing is either Olivia or Tarmogoyf here. Alright, took Tarmogoyf. They draw a card. We draw Chandra. How many of our four drops can we draw this game? I guess the only one we're missing is Kalidus. Going to 10, here comes like double death shadow. Okay. Hand hasn't changed much. So they're going to know what our draw step is. Move 
removal spell. Another scavengers. Go get a swamp here. Am I getting a swamp or am I getting a red source? Guess we'll get. Uh, hmm. May as well get overgrown tomb. Damage may matter, but at this point, I want to be able to cast all my spells before we die. All right, let's tap for green. So I can chomp away at their graveyard if this ooze lives. The chances on them not having removal spells in their three cards are pretty low. Liliana, the last hope. Okay. Sure. You know, I was joking about the part about drawing all my four drops. I really was joking. Guess I gotta get a red source here. Yeah, I gotta grab a red source. So blood crypt it is. All right, there's another skews. Yuck. I guess I do the one that can block. I can kill Liliana with the veil for all the good it will do me. So Twilight Mire. Hmm. The honor of the veil, kill that. Uh, do, 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 do. Which one of these three drops do I play? I guess it's Sean oh, I knew. Kill Chandra. Use Chandra to kill Death Shadow. Hopefully one of your cards is not Street Wraith. Unfortunately, it isn't. Another Tarmogoyf? Sure. And... Is 
so they can get back Death Shadow. Seems pretty good. Yep, there's Death Shadow. Maelstrom Pulse. Hmm. Sell the top card. No. Yes. Black. That. Pulse Weir Goyf. Eat your time to Okay, see what you've got. Uh, no, I'm not attacking. <sighs> Fatal push is slightly annoying, but not unexpected. All right, opponent going aggressive here. Thoughtsies, all right. Probably taking Olivia here. These matches, these matches, these matches. Taking Kalidus. Interesting. Decision time, opponent. Well, they have to decide if they're just going to go for our life total or if they've got to kill Chandra to avoid us getting multiple looks at a removal spell. Going after us. Okay. Okay, we got a Tarmogoyf. Removal spell, please. Nazis. I think I've got to risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. Stubborn or not. Card wasn't even relevant. Please don't have drawn a removal spell. Looks like you did not. All right, so what could we even draw to get out of this nonsense? Opponent. Be a land or removal spell. All right. Well, I mean. See what we've got here. Land. All right. And that. That. All right. Is it dead? 
Is it dead, opponent? Is it dead now? All right. Okay, and the feet will push that. Pass to our opponent, because we cannot cast the Sotsies. Putrid Leech. It's an interesting one. Oh, dear, 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 dear. That was one heck of a game. And bolt you. Whew. So putrid leech. That is an interesting tech. So... Want these... Leyline of the Voids. Want these spell bombs? Cards do we not want? Hmm. Kalidus and Olivia feel weak. Um, I feel like we want some number of Fulminator Mages. K Command. It seem like it does a ton. Um, she have a scoos. Uh, do, do, do. It's supposed to be like some amount of dot seasons that get boarded out here. Try to cut them off of colors since their deck, their mana base is very fragile. Might be a little bit aggressive of a game plan, but it's a game plan. Uh, Fatal Push, Dark Confidant, Fulminator Mage. Sure, we'll try it. Alright. Bubble, 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 bubble. Targeting themselves. Okay. Discard spell. Yep. There goes Fatal Push. Alright, we draw a Lightning Bolt. Guess we'll lead on Mire and pass. Highly doubt we'll need to bolt anything, but you never know. Okay. They're targeting me. Targeting themselves. This feels like a Tarmogoyf. It in fact, is a Tarmogoyf. So I am getting a green. I guess we just get overgrown tomb. Removal spell would be great. Then we get a Dark Confidant. Probably just dead anyway, but we're not there. Bobby! Come on, Bobby! Yep, unsurprisingly.
takes bolt. Interesting. Yep. All right, so I guess we run out Fulminator. Block Goyf and then take them off of red. Or do we take them off of blue? <laughs> I think we take them off of blue because the most likely way we get back into this game is to resolve some non-creature spells. Going to 11 here. And of course, they have another blue source. Uh, I think we're not getting our way out of this one. All right. Do, do, do. So, the Fulminator plan might be a bit of a pipe dream. We have Finx and that back in. Hmm. So, bolts kind of seem questionable. A couple of these thoughts uses back in on the play. Uh, try it like that. Just want thinks as a sticky threat to buy us time. Because I think in time we will like we have the better quote unquote long game. Yeah, keep. Need on Raging Ravine and pass. On Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle's another Street Wraith. Shock. Thought sees. Yep. Okay. Probably gives our fatal push. Targeting us so they know exactly what we're working with here. All right, terminate. Well, we're out the go if chances are time for it to die. Hmm. They have their own Tarmogoyf. Go ahead and pass. I think Tarmogoyf was the bait spell. That's going to force us to burn. Sure. Another Death Shadow. Of course you have a Death Shadow. No, oh, Fatal Push. Okay. 
run that out there and pass. Oh, it's going way, way down. Not sure what the point of that was. Get this. Watch this. Get the other. The Blood Crypt in our deck. We've got a Stinks. Alright, so do this. Do this. Do this. Got us one of them there. Kitchen Finxes. Tarmogoyf, sure. All right. Go ahead and hit you with this. Play out that. Swing in with... Okay, and our opponent scooped. Whoo! Well, that was an, a long, very grindy uh, what do we have drawn? We were on lands and a Liliana. Alrighty. So, thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, as far as Jund, though, um, so, Jund, I mean, Jund's a fine deck. Uh, we played two Dust Shadow decks, both variants, the five-color Jund-based deck and the Crixus Shadow. We played Jeskai, Geist. Um, we played Red-Green through the Breach, and what was the fifth match? Uh, do, 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 Storm. So, I think the thing holding Jund and Abzan back over Death Shadow is theoretically they're more powerful decks than Death Shadow with the lower man with the higher bombs and stuff. But honestly, the more efficient deck just seems to be better in the format. Like getting a Death Shadow, getting a Tarmogoyf down. Generally, their Tarmogoyfs are going to be bigger than what Jund or Abzan would normally have. Uh, they have more dis early disruption, and Stubborn Denial is a real card. I mean, when I played 5-color Death Shadow, I actually felt like Control was a fairly close to a good matchup. But with this deck, I felt like Control was kind of a... like. We're the dog. Even with, like... I don't know. We had one game where we were real close to winning game two, which would have won us the match there. Um, there might have been a couple different play lines I could have taken uh, to have gotten there. Um, there were a couple different play lines against Grixis Death Shadow where we might have been able to squeak out game two. But... I don't know. Those matchups, neither one of them felt, like, great. So, I don't know. As far as the deck, this particular build, I really like a lot of what was going on here. The one card that I was constantly, like, scratching my head about was Storm Breath Dragon. Like, this card... I get we already have a lot of five, four drops, and a five drop we can cast, but it's like... What card, other than blue-white X-Control, what deck do I actively want Storm Breath against? Uh, life Goes On feels a little narrow. You know, I honestly think I'd rather have another Collective Brutality if you're that afraid of burn. Uh, 
Not health spell bonds were originally surgical extractions, but with the card borrowing service I have in the middle of a transition to a different delivery system, the surgicals weren't available, so I went ahead and run those Nihils. Um, the surgicals would have been good against the um, against the Valakit deck if we would have been able to draw one of our four Fulminators and one of the surgicals, which is a big if, but gives you a slightly better chance in that matchup. But overall, Jund, it was fun to play, but I don't know. I think I'd rather stick to like Abzan or to play five color Jund Death Shadow if I were to give him a choice. I don't think the red cards are really worth the uh, the splash right now. I honestly think the white cards are better in a lot of matchups. Path to Exile is a better so up Lingering Souls is a better setup. Uh, Siege Rhino is somewhat comparable in power to Cletus and Olivia. So, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a coin flip. Whatever your preference is, you can play them, but I don't think Jund is particularly well positioned right now. Kind of the conclusion everybody else has reached in the format, but it was fun to play the deck. A little bit of nostalgia here. Jund versus Blue White X Control, etc. So. Thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. Um, my name is Dusk or Dustblader here on MTGO Tavern on Twitch. We also have a YouTube page, Dust Till Dawn Gaming. The link is down below the stream here. Uh, we have a lot of content on there. We've played Abzan. We've played Grixis Death Shadow. We've played uh, Five Color Death Shadow. We've played Eldrazi Tron. We've played most of the Valakit Primeval Titan decks. We've played Amulet Titan. We've played... An As For Toll deck last night. A um, whole lot of modern content. We've also played most of the top standard decks. I think I need to play Teamer and Saltai Energy. Other than that, we've played everything since rotation. So feel free to check out those videos in the downtime. Um, we'll be streaming again tomorrow night. I'm uh, not really sure what we'll be streaming, but we'll definitely be streaming something. Um, I'm either leaning towards Esper Godfro's Gift and Standard or maybe some type of modern deck. So thank everyone for tuning in. Feel free to hit that follow button and feel free to hit the subscribe button over there on YouTube. Thanks so much for checking me out and hope to catch everyone again sometime. Bye for now.